Welcome back to another video. This is number two of 12 days of Christmas. If you are new, I wanted to let you know that I'm doing this project 12 days of Christmas where I'm doing 12 paintings every single day starting December the 1st. So again, if you're new, consider subscribing and activate the bell so you can receive the announcements of the remaining days for this project. 12 days of Christmas number two so on this painting I'm going to do something from the movie uh, the nightmare before Christmas it's going to be Sandy Claus is coming because that's how Jack calls Santa Claus he calls him Sandy Claus so Sandy Claus is coming this is a first video of the uh, canvas if you don't know, I'm going to do the 12 days of Christmas I'm doing six rocks and six canvas. Alternated each one. The first one was a rock. This one is going to be a canvas and so on. So if you like the content of this channel, consider subscribing and activating the bell so you can receive the announcements of my next videos. So I hope you enjoy my paintings. Let me know by giving me a thumbs up and or you can leave a comment on the section down below. Also, I wanted to let you know that I have affiliate links of the paints that I use and other tools that I use for my other paintings. Just in case you are interested in knowing which ones I use. As I said on my first video, I think I said on all my videos, my goal is to inspire you to start painting. So go ahead and buy some paints some brushes basic stuff and just enjoy painting have fun that's the main thing if you don't want to paint if you just want to watch the videos you're more than welcome just to watch the videos uh, let me know what you like what you want to see in the future or uh, maybe you want to see something else i don't know let me know in the section below so i use uh the canvas this is a 10 by 8 it comes uh, coated with gesso but i noticed that it is the surface is not really really uh, soft this is a pre gesso canvas so i just bought some at the store but these ones uh, even though they are pre gesso the surface is uh, kind of rough because of the uh, canvas uh, texture but i guess you know that's the beauty of painting on canvas but uh, in the future I'm planning to buy some gesso or if you know how to make it let me know or if you have a video how to make uh, gesso let me know uh, because I know it's a little bit expensive but I want to try first giving it maybe two or three coats of acrylic paint so that way the surface gets a little bit softer because as I said uh, sometimes it's kind of hard I don't know if because of I'm not uh, have a lot of uh, experience with canvas but again it seems as it has a little bit of texture I guess that is the beauty of painting in canvas I remember when I was a little kid I was uh, I went to my uncle's house his name is Salvador and I remember he was painting and he had an easel and a canvas I don't know what kind of paint he was using. I don't know if it was oil or acrylic, but I just remember the painting that he was doing that to me, it looks so beautiful. It was just a landscape where, you know, you see everything in the background and it was uh, like a little path to on the hills, but on the close up, it was a tree that it was one of the branches was cut with uh, I don't know with saw or electric saw whatever but I remember the painting I have it in my head maybe one day I will do that painting I don't know if it's uh, I don't remember exactly because I was a little kid when I saw that painting but if you want me to paint it let me know I always love to do painting uh, not painting but to draw uh, make drawings of anything at school I always offer myself to do the presentations uh, when I was back in my days in school you didn't have all these fancy printers and all these posters that you can find anywhere 
you actually have to do your own drawings and I always love, I always volunteer to do the uh, drawings and the coloring. Going back to the painting, I just use acrylic paints. I tried now, I try to use the basic colors, trying to learn how to mix them, achieving different colors, different shades. So that's what I'm doing here. If you look at on the left, I have my little palette, plastic palette that I'm mixing the colors. I give it some darker colors on the shadow areas. Basically, it doesn't have any highlights, but the clear areas are just plain red. So I, I'm having a lot of fun doing this project. I hope you like it too. One thing I will tell you is that I am having a lot of fun with these paintings, even though sometimes it doesn't come out as I have it in my mind because you know what you said in your mind is sometimes it's difficult to translate into a painting, especially if you're not an expert or a professional. I just try my best here to have fun and uh, just, you know, enjoy the paintings that I do. I will post uh, pictures of the, some of the pictures of the next projects that I have. I have some done already. I just need to edit the videos and upload the videos on my channel. I also have a Facebook page. In case you maybe you don't like YouTube much and you want to follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I have a page, it's the same name, Roger Adventures. And I belong to other groups that they paint rocks too. It's really fun, it's really fun. I love uh, being part of this community and I really appreciate everybody that gives me a thumbs up on the videos. It means a lot to me. I'm really glad that I can share these paintings through this uh, channel. And you have to excuse my English, it's not the best. As Celia Cruz said, my English is not very good looking. Azúcar! That's what she always says on her songs. You, I'm using this uh, fine uh, brush that is uh, actually for nails. I think I said in another video that I was trying them and I saw it at the store and I just decided to give it a try. I know they, there are people that actually make their own uh, their own brushes. They From a thicker one, they just cut some a little bit of the brush and just leave it thin. There's a lot of ways you can be creative, you know, making your own tools, your own style of painting. So on the letters, I use the gold metallic acrylic paints with the lettering Sandy Claus is coming. Sandy Claus is coming to town. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up and share it with someone that you think will love it or will like it or will try to paint it. If you are up to this point and you haven't subscribed yet, well, there you go. Subscribe to my channel. Well, I hope you enjoy it and I will see you on the 12th day of Christmas number three.